Hi folks, Karen here with Working at Home with KS Musselman at ksmusselman.com and this video I'm going to show you how to customize the header of your Generate Press theme. And it's really pretty simple. Log into your WordPress dashboard. Now this is if you're going to use an image. So like with this image, like if you right click, it'll say open image on a new tab. This is the image. And this image is a size 1000 wide by 450 high. That's the perfect size for this theme. So let's go to it. First you want to go to your dashboard. You want to go to Appearance, Customize. In your Customize tab you want to go to Header Content. And then if you're going to use an image that's got your site title and tagline in it, hide the title, hide the tagline. So hide the title and hide the tagline. Once you've created your image, then you just click Upload. Upload your file, which I've already done this, so I'm not going to do it again. And then you just select your file and upload the file. And then that will go right into your header. Okay, so that's how you do a custom header with an image. In this blog, I'm using an image slider plugin. So this is how you would do an image slider. First thing you would do is go to your dashboard, obviously. Then you want to go to Plugins. The plugin that I am using is SP Responsive Header Image Slider. That's what I'm using. Now this is the coolest thing. So just highlight that and click on add new and then search up here for that particular plugin. Now what you want to do when you go to settings responsive slider settings and then I have the slider width at a thousand by 450. That is going to be the size of the images that you want to put in here. I have the navigation set to, I don't want to show the next and previous buttons. I want to fade for the navigation. I don't want any pagination settings. Of course, I left the effect empty. I don't want to play in stop button setting. And I want to auto play on the load. Play effect would be yes to fade. Auto play speed. I set mine at 500, fades after the setting, transition between the images is 2000, and then no link to the images. So once you have your settings saved, just click Save, and then to add the images, you would go up here, because it will have a second thing for up here, so you would find it in your sidebar and then you want to add an image. And it acts just like you're putting a post. So you can enter the title here. You can if you that is if you want to SEO your images for your slider. I didn't bother doing that. And then down here is where you would put the image. You would set the feature image. Now I've already done this, so let me show you what mine look like. So these are the images that I have in here now. And this is the responsive, here's the details for this. If you want to place the image slider into your website header, copy and paste into your header PHP. So once you have all of the pictures loaded that you want, just add this little code here into the header PHP. So you would copy that 
Then you would go into your Appearance, Editor, Header PHP. Now, here it is right here. There's the code. So at, when it, where it says do action generate before the header content, that's where you put it, right in there. This is in the generate press theme, so that's how you put that there. So you code put this code in here after you've added all of your all of your um ah, all of your photos. So that's how you do the responsive header image slider and customizing the image in your header. Okay. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel or stop by my blog.